the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. There's the whistle, and here we go. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? It's hard to overlook Gerard Piquet. He should be given a bit more credit, I think, for his performances. Anticipates well, composed on the ball, and, and pretty good in the air. That will all be needed for what's to come here, too. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Aimed long and direct. Iniesta with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Tries a through ball. Barcelona have a near-perfect record to this point. All wins bar a single draw. I think a cautious start from both teams. And that's a foul, free kick's been given. Repelled by the keeper. Bravo catches it safely. Cuts it out. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that... Oh, the question, that's a foul. Iniesta plays it out to the wing. A oh, glorious footwork! It's Neymar! Breakthrough. There just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Barcelona take the lead. Oh, look, it's lovely having a player with such ability in your side. He's always capable of coming up with something important, and he's done it again. And it's Neymar. Now it's Messi. Messi! Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. Now it's Guerra. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Luis Suarez. Now, can he capitalise? It's a loose ball. Rafinha. That's a waste. Spoon forward. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Barcelona are leading with half-time drawing close. Now the pass. Abi Guerra showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. And he's made certain that won't get through. Now it's Guerra. Now it's Messi. Now it's Neymar. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. He's gone long. Jordi Alba. And it's half-time here. 
Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Barcelona leading 1-0 at the break. Here we go again, then. Barcelona carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Luis Suarez. There is the genius of Luis Suarez! Two up and threatening to pull clear. Suarez showed real composure then. I mean, how often do you see a player do everything right until he gets into the box, only to completely kind of fluff the finish? Not him. Barcelona take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. It's exactly the start to this second half they would have hoped for. They can build on that morale boost and confidence and, and finish the contest by really taking the game to the opposition now. Another piece of really good defending. No, oh, he's come up against a brick wall there. Iniesta. And it's Messi. Can he find a finish now? They are rampant! And the lead is three! It is surely done! I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's, it's terrific play to, to get through and score. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Barcelona take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Pumps it upfield. Fine defending there. Barcelona are having to deal not just with their opponents, but also with a congested fixture list. It's at times like this when depth of resources becomes so important. And it's a time when the squad is called upon to help keep everything ticking over. That's why we see the bigger squads these days for week. And that's surely a foul free kick. Barcelona hasn't yet dipped into their subs. It's a decent ball. And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. Well, he was in such a great position in front of the goal, and you'd expect him to score from there, but somehow he's missed it. Mascherano. Gets it upfield. Has a look and has a go. And the follow-up. It's in. Over the hills and far away. No catching them now. Luis Suarez did well there. He was on to it in a trice. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy, and after that, maybe there's some truth in it. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. 
Barcelona tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Out to the left it goes. Rafinha. Messi. Iniesta. Luis Suarez, feeling like a man possessed. Clears it out of harm's way. Iniesta. And it's Messi. Luis Suarez. And he steered it beyond the post. Daniel Alves picks it up from the goal kick. Speculative strike. Keeper is right behind it. Tries to get it forward quickly. Javi Guerra chipped through. Here it comes. And he's onside. Keeps everyone guessing. Pulls loose. Who's getting there? Iniesta. Daniel Alves. Messi. Now it's Luis Suarez. And it's Javi Guerra. And the referee brings it to a close. Barcelona, very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they got on the ball, they looked like scoring. It is a landslide. So what do you take away from it all, Jim?